Uh, dear Billy Red Balls, I've been with my girlfriend for around a year, and I've noticed that lots of other men hit on her. I mean, a lot. Now, this happens almost never. Oh, this almost never happens when I'm around. Oh, well, that's respectful. But she tells me at least a few times a week about a creepy stranger who approaches her or cat calls her. I have to say, it makes me pretty uncomfortable, but proud at the same time. The weird part of all this is that while my girlfriend is Asian. It's only older black men that hit on her. Wow, that's weird. She must have a fucking fat ass or something. No disrespect. Um, now we're both in college, and I just got back from four months studying abroad in France. While I was there, she told me about a guy in a parking garage that came up behind her and groped her. I told you, she's got a fat ass. A guy who stopped traffic in the middle of downtown Atlanta just to say what's up, and a tutor who flat out asked if she's single and started to insult me without ever having met me. Oh, my God. That's fucking awesome. I'm sorry, but that's hilarious. He's hitting on one of his students, finds out he has a boyfriend. He, uh, he guy sounds like a douche. How soon before that guy gets fired? Um, anyways, cashiers at Starbucks drop comments, too, and she says they always stare at my chest. Is she trying to make me jealous? Um, well, have you conveyed to her how that makes you feel? You know, just say, hey, not for nothing, you are gorgeous. I understand why people look at you. I mean, I looked at you. I didn't look at you like a creep. You know, I just thought you were stunningly beautiful, and I, I had to talk to you. And now here we are in this relationship, but uh, I don't know. I don't know why she's doing that. Just do you, do you not tell her she's beautiful all the time? Are you not giving her something that she needs? So she's saying, look at all these other people who want me. Or is she just out of her fucking mind? I don't know. Let's keep reading. Now, for the summer, she's also in a study, she's also in a study abroad program, but in Barcelona. Ah, Jesus Christ. Who is this right now? I, I didn't even fucking, is this like, uh. You guys are living a hell of a life here. While they were out in a little group exploring the city, one guy with her tried to hold her hand and tried to play it off as just a joke. Ah, Jesus. I can't get mad at that. We've all had a big swing and a miss. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, no, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Um, anyways, I don't know why she tells me about these things, but she knows, oh, she knows it makes you feel uncomfortable. If I was ever there with her, I doubt this would ever happen, but we're unfortunately long distance until July. I'm kind of worried because she's under 21, but now she's in Europe. She's able to drink, and I'm scared someone is going to try and take advantage of her, and there's nothing I can do. Am I crazy for having this bother me so much? I don't know what I can do to stop it, or even if, or even if it would stop when I'm with her. How do I keep them away? Let me ask you a question, sir. Do you love this woman? You know, is this the woman that you think you're going to be with? If you have a definite answer, yes, then you need to talk to her about this. Okay? And just say, listen, you're a beautiful woman, and I'm just going to have to accept the fact that when I'm not around, guys are going to ask you out the same way I did. Okay? But for my own sanity, I would really appreciate it if you didn't tell me about it. Okay, unless obviously somebody gropes you, then I want to fucking find the guy and kill him. Um, if your answer is no, um, you're studying abroad in France. I just came back from there. So the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life per capita are over there. You're going to be foreign. You're going to have a fucking sexy accent to them. Cut your fucking losses. Go down and buy some fucking condoms and have at it. All right. That's that's my suggestion. I hope I didn't go too quickly with that. But uh, how do you keep them away? You can't keep them away. And when you date a beautiful woman, you just you have to accept on some level that guys are going to hit on him, hit on him, hit on her, and you, you can't get mad at that. They're beautiful. You did the same fucking thing. You can't tell me before you didn't get to know her as a person if you really do love her that when you looked at her you didn't just went God, titties. You didn't something. You didn't say something like that. So. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to find a middle ground if you're gonna stay with this woman. You either have to fucking uh, yeah, you got to convey that it's bugging you, and then make peace 
with the fact that it's still going to fucking happen on some level. All right? But uh, she's really young, and you must be really young too, and you're both going to countries where they fuck because, you know, that's what's to do over there. <laughs> I'm such an idiot, but I'm just saying, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, that was awful. Sorry, I just got off a fucking plane. I tried. I tried. Um, that's my advice. If, if You know what? I'm jet lagged here. If, if fucking somebody has some better advice, just write it into the uh, bill at the mmpodcast.com and uh, I'll try to maybe do a better job next week.